what we're going to do is get a local artist, music artist, to take us round and give us their personal journey and experience of that neighbourhood. We've touched a little bit around the manor. Um, Lalo, for those who are in the know, Labrook Grove, um, <laughs> Kensington, around that way. Trod in the old streets of London, <laughs> places that I used to hang out in. We've done a little walk through of where I recorded my first single, which we purposely put the hit on the, on the B, B side. side because we knew that we had a lot of anoraks will be looking for B-sides because we were always digging for the perfect beat, as it were. I must say, I do like the artwork it's for good, the 80s. It? It's pretty, pretty fab. It's pretty awesome. We did the carnival thing, Westbourne yeah. Park Road, and that's where um, the, the sound system was set up. So this was it here. Yeah, because you, we would face it like this. Your bands would be over there. Yeah, and the system would be set up here. Yeah. And we would do it in such a way, because if we did it like this, the sounds would be bouncing. There'll be a rig on that side. Yeah. There'll be another rig past that tree, and the other rig will be strapped to the van. Yeah. And we'll have the sound going into one area. So all the air would be like so intense in yeah. just this little spot. It was absolutely amazing. There's so much that you've got a connection with around here, even though you're a North London boy. Well, yeah, that's testament to being like, you know, London, isn't it? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's some of that. That's one of the beauties about actually growing up in London is the fact there are that many nooks and crannies. Fantastic things happening here in this city too. I always talk about the skyline of, of Britain and when you do go to other countries, you realise how old London is yeah. and we've got so much to show for it in terms of architecture and the beauty of it particularly standing on any of the bridges looking north or south but what was interesting today actually on foot was so many little changes that are made some of those venues no longer physically exist but every so often you see a little plaque or some yeah. sort of reminder about what was there yeah. and how important it was for us I loved when you said about um, when we were outside where you used to have your sound system at Carnival and I was like, what did you play? And you were like, Everything. You name it. Well, the beauty of the Carnival there, you could be that eclectic. You obviously had your core. From a sound system's point of view, you would always be trying to break something new. Yeah. Coming to the end of that particular period, we were breaking our own records, as it were. Yeah. But Soul to Soul, one of the great things about Soul to Soul, we have always been eclectic, and a lot of the, the members of the band always have their own ideas of um, what music they're into, and maybe the type of music they'd like to make. Yeah. And then when we all come together, it's almost like a, a blender. Are you looking forward to the Sunday Social? I think it'll be an interesting event. Choosing songs that I think are associated with the neighbourhood. I've had a look at your playlist. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous about having to DJ in your company, if I'm being honest. Give me some advice. Call Jazzy. 